What's happening, YouTube? I am Ed Troxel, and welcome to my channel if this is your first time uh, showing up or checking out this live broadcast. I'm your business and tech expert. So basically, I help you with showing up, delivering, and engaging with your audience online. All my stuff is mostly uh, over on Facebook and, of course, my website, edtroxel.com. Uh, if you can't spell that, you can just go to checkwithed.com. It does the same thing. But today, we're going to actually test out live streaming on YouTube, which is with you guys right now, and Facebook. So here's the deal. At 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time in two minutes, I go live every day, Monday through Friday, over on my Facebook business page. It's just at Ed Troxel Creative. Now, I have this show, it's called Ed Talk TV, and it's a business talk show. We talk about business, tech, and the user experience. You'll hear me, that's what we're gonna be doing today. You're not gonna be able to see um, some of the stuff that's gonna go on my screen, because I have you guys on the phone, and then I have a webcam right below you, where I have um, uh, attached to my computer, and then I stream through a program uh, called Ecamm Live. And so, I'm gonna go through my normal show and everything, I'm gonna be talking to you guys and Facebook, but I just wanted to do this dual broadcast, basically, just so I can get a feel for how YouTube Live is versus Facebook Live. And so today's topic is actually gonna be live streaming options. So we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll go over resources. I'll provide links and all of that uh, afterwards if you need it. And welcome to welcome to Ed's World. This is, this is what's going on. Um, I'm really liking YouTube's clean, bright look over here. This is really nice. And I'm really enjoying uh, the actual screenshot that they do at the beginning. So there's a fun tip if you haven't gone live yet on YouTube, having that screenshot, boy, that's so smart. And I'm all about the user experience. So that's really smart. So we're gonna talk about that on the show. It's gonna kick off here in less than a minute. And yeah, this is kind of, you guys kind of get the behind the scenes part, which is fun. I did this on Instagram the other day and it's just, it's fun. It's it's good. So here we go. So we're going to go live right now on our business page over on Facebook, and then I'll do the intro and hang out with you guys and them. So stay tuned. Also, while this is going, if you guys have any tips when you watch this, if you have any tips for YouTube Live specific, please let me know in the comments. All right, here we go, here we go. Hello, hello, welcome everyone to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let me know in the comments. Today we are gonna talk about live streaming options. So I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna tell you about my setup today because we're doing some testing and uh, seeing how that goes. We're also going to cover some random news. So if this is your first time joining, welcome. This is a business talk show. We talk about business, tech, and the user experience. And I'm gonna tell you about what I got going on on my side over here. But first, I want you to make sure to tell me who you are in the comments share the broadcast if you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop in on Facebook here. I'm gonna pop in two links for you for later, not now, for later, um, just so you have them, because it's important to, um, to put them out there right away. The first link is gonna be uh, basically Ed's World. It's one link that gets you all of my links, meaning social media links, website links, things that I'm promoting, the Hey Ed community, all that stuff you'll have there. Hey Paula, um, so you'll have that in the first link. Now the second link I put there is actually for the human race. So if anybody wants to donate, uh, I am helping support the human race here in Sonoma County. So if you um, if you wanna check that out and you wanna make a donation, no, no a limit on that, it could be as small or as big as you want, doesn't matter, uh, every little bit helps. So I put those two in the comments here on the Facebook page. Don't go there now though, take a look at them later. Um, so Paula there, welcome. Now, what's exciting about today? First off, we're talking about live streaming today. So we're gonna jump into random news. Don't worry, don't worry, we're gonna jump into random news. But before I do, I wanna start um, you know, having you guys think about live streaming options. Start thinking about, even if you're watching the replay, you can still participate. I encourage you, because I get a lot of replay viewers, 
secret, we all do. We all get a lot of replay viewers. So um, in the comments, even if you're watching the replay, let me know, what do you think about live stream? Are you doing it? Do you know what it is? Um, are you testing things with it? What What is it about live streaming do you know and what are you trying to accomplish with it? So let me know in the comments. While you're doing that, we're gonna talk about random news uh, and then we'll, we'll dive into today's topic. So, Random news. We have some. We have some sweet news, and then we have some. What were you thinking? News. Um, which one should we do first? Should we do sweet, or should we do what were you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking we should do what were you thinking because this one's kind of uh, like what? Like it's it's just weird. I don't even know. So a um, I'm just double checking in uh, Connecticut. A 23 year old. I'm just making sure it's the right one. Yeah, a 23 year old substitute teacher was apparently holding a quote fight club after hours in school. I I just a high school teacher. Like number 1 he looks extremely extremely young. Maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. Um but number 2, why would you why would you think that that would be okay? Like you know what? Let's have the the here this is maybe this is what was going through his head maybe it was you know we the budget cuts you know they're cutting out the arts programs the music programs they're cutting out sports like all these things are getting cut out so maybe he just thought well let's just let's just take it to the next level how can we make this better i mean i don't know but that was not a good choice so what were you thinking i don't know but that was not good um so let's move on to some sweet news anybody uh like kit kats do you know uh, what Kit Kat is up to or what they have been up to for over uh, a decade it has been? Anybody? We talk about this on the show a lot. Hey, Mickey. Um, we talk about this on the show a lot in terms of testing and how much time it takes for us to build a business, a sustainable business at that. And so Nestle is actually releasing only in the UK. So Chrissy, I know you're out there, Vicky, some of you guys might be able to get your hands on this before we do because they're going to have it out there and maybe you can uh you can do a Facebook live for us, but they're actually have releasing a pink Kit Kat bar with all natural flavors that um the chocolate maker says that the bar is made from ruby cocoa beans that have a berry-like fruity flavor. And they've been working on this for more than a decade, more than a decade. How crazy is that? Hey, Tammy, <laughs> I know I had you at chocolate, right? That's right. So our UK viewers, you guys are gonna get hands-on with that first. You know the first thing? Can anybody guess what artist, female artist, would probably get that candy bar first? When you hear the word um, pink Kit Kat, and you think about today's artists, and I'll, I'll give you another hint, not female, not just female artists, but probably the top 40, I'm guessing. Anybody have a name that they wanna throw out there? And then I'm gonna tell you about our setup today, it's exciting, and then we're gonna dive into uh, live streaming options. Paula, yeah, pink Kit Kat, isn't that crazy? So, um, ew, <laughs> Mickey says, ew, pink? Okay, wait, berry and chocolate? Yeah, exactly, it, it, it will be interesting. It will be very interesting. I thought, the first thing I thought, and so here, Tammy, this one, this one's for you, branding, right? And for all of us to make note, the first thing I thought of, or the first person, I should say, that I thought of when I saw that they were coming out with a pink Kit Kat bar, and you guys, I, it's not, I'm not, I'm not like a huge fan or anything. It's just, it's what came to mind is, oh, Paula's good. Paula said pink, the artist. Paula, that's actually a really good guess, and I, I didn't even think about that one. So, yeah, that would be good. For me, and maybe this was just because she was in the news today earlier in a separate separate thing, but Nicki Minaj. How many of you could can relate that pink Nicki Minaj? I, I don't know. That, that just, that's the first name that came to mind. So, there's that. Um, so, Facebook family, today... We are actually having our YouTube family over for dinner. 
everyone's hanging out with us. We got our Facebook, we got our YouTube, and we got our international guests. And everyone is having a party here. So um, Chrissy says that's who she thought. Perfect. And um, Tammy said, yep, pink. So yeah, see, it's so funny how we how we have those connections. And it's all about branding. And it's all about what, what we are seeing and hearing. Don't forget, audio is big. Audio is big. So um, what's interesting, you guys, where I kind of gave YouTubers a, a little inside view uh, or a little insider information before we went live here on Facebook. But today, we are actually going to talk about live streaming options. And what we're doing is we're actually live streaming on YouTube for the very first time while live streaming on Facebook. So the show is in both places and we're testing that. Any questions about that? Uh, you guys can ask me at any point in time, that's fine. YouTubers, I always drink a ton of water during the broadcast because we do this five days a week for an hour. You need to stay hydrated, so there's that. Uh, so when it comes to live streaming options, do you guys know what options are available to you? Shout them out in the comments, even if you're watching the replay, shout them out. Um, Nikki says, how am I doing this? How am I streaming to both Facebook and YouTube? We're gonna talk about that. Great question, I'm gonna make note of that. Um, the how. Uh, and how do you do that? Chrissy says, yeah, see, I sparked you guys' interest, huh? I sparked your interest. I hope all of you guys are sharing this out and inviting your friends, because live streaming is all the business right now. Like, this is what we need to be doing. This is what we need to be testing. What equipment does that take? Oh, Tammy, great question. That ties into how am I doing this, right? So, and what's interesting is, I actually will have to get later, I will have to get my other device downstairs to take a picture of this setup because I can't take a picture right now because that's just the way it is. Um, so let's start at the basics first, you guys. Let's 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 start at the basics. Keep the questions coming. Keep the keep the conversation going. IG um, Mickey says IG is an option. Facebook, YouTube is an option. Periscope too. Perfect. Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. When you have live streaming. Let's just start at the basics. So what is live streaming? Live streaming allows us to go on video and be live. Just like if you were to watch the news, excuse me, if you were watching the news and it was a live breaking news, like they have the reporter out there on the scene, breaking into all your programs and showing what's going on. That's what live streaming is. But now you have the power to do that. You don't have to wait for a newscaster. You don't have to be on a fancy network. It's all you and it's all in your pocket. Well, right now you're watching me, so it's actually not in your pocket, it's in your hand um, or on your screens if you're watching me on the TV or whatever. But you know what I mean. Um, and Chrissy, can you go live on Twitter too? So Chrissy, we'll, we'll mention it. Uh, Periscope though is basically Twitter's live. So, so yes, you can go live on Twitter. Um, so when it comes to live streaming, the bare basics is you just get to go live in front of the camera. You, you can have zero people as your audience, if that even makes sense, or you can be open to as many people as possible because when you go live publicly, like we're, we are right now, you guys, I'm on my business page on Facebook. This is public, so this can go out to anybody. And when you guys share, that actually goes out to more people than I know. I also repurpose this and put it on my blog so that people who are not on Facebook can actually watch the show. And today we're with YouTube Live, which is the very first time I've ever gone live on YouTube, and I don't even know half the people on YouTube. I don't even know, anybody can watch me on YouTube right now. And yes, that seems crazy and scary. I know some of you uh, are watching this and you're like, that is just way too much. I just can't, that's, that's too much pressure. Let me tell you, I love the fact that I have YouTube with you guys because it makes it more natural for me. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. Um, we're also gonna talk about kind of uh, what happened last night with the, the guest expert that I was, I was in a guest expert on um, someone's channel over on Instagram and we ran into some hiccups. And of course it happens 
always has to happen when you bring in the tech expert because we just need to figure out what's gonna work, right? Um, so we'll talk about that too. But when you start out, live streaming is literally, it's in your pocket, it's on your phone, whatever platform you're on, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or Periscope. Those are like the four main ones. I'm sure there's plenty of other ones out there, but those are your fa four favorite ones, four fame ones. Um, and so those are the options you're gonna have. Now tell me in the comments, even if you're watching the replay, are you using one of those? I don't care how many times you go live, we're not there yet. Well, I just wanna know, are you using live streaming and what platform are you using it on? Because it, it matters, it really, it's going to, it's going to matter and, I, and we're gonna break that down. When it comes to uh, live streaming, there's a, there's a whole, whole, you guys, I have a training on this that's available over on my website if anybody really wants to dive in past what you learned today. But um, just know that there's a whole training on that. But we're just gonna go over some of the basics here. Um, Chrissy says, uh, yes, Facebook. She goes live on Facebook. Yes, you do. You do a great job. Um, and Paula says, no, not yet. Okay, cool. And Paula, I'm going to ask you and anybody else who kind of has that same uh, answer, if you haven't started live streaming yet, why? Why? I just want to know why. Like, it doesn't even have to be sentences. Just drop in, in the comments, like, words that, you know, scared, not sure, um, not there yet, I, not a priority, I don't like the camera. Like, Whatever it is, just drop it into the comments so that way I know. Mickey says, yep, I live stream on Facebook and Instagram. I repurpose it too. Mickey, yes! You get an A plus, Mickey. Repurpose. She used the R word, you guys. The R word. Repurpose. That's what we're all about. Somebody needs to be, somebody needs to be in the back here, a backup dancer, cheerleader, and do like some repurpose, you know, uh, cheer for us. Uh, YouTubers you get a little bit of dancing from, from this guy. So, you know, that's just how, it, that's just how it goes. So, um, when it comes to live streaming, you have your four different platforms. Now, chances are, well, let me ask, I don't even, I don't want to make an assumption. Is anybody here using Periscope consistently? Cause I am on Periscope. I can't tell you the last time I actually used it though. I, that's where I started with live streaming before I was comfortable. And it was, it was rocky, it was very rocky, and I'm not talking about my dog. Um, let me see, Paula says, still working on content, so I have somewhere to send them to. Good answer, good answer. Um, Chrissy says, repurpose, she loves to repurpose. Yep, Ed taught me about repurposing. <laughs> Mickey, you are awesome, I love it, yep. Um, Chrissy says, me too, <laughs> you guys are awesome, I love it. So. When it comes to live streaming, you, uh, I started out on Periscope, you guys, and that was like when Periscope was hot on the market and it was one of those things like, okay, I need to try that because it's new and it looks easy enough and I can just play and see. Now, I first started following some big names and really engaging with them and their audience and then I started to try to go live myself. Believe it or not, I do not like, well, now I'm more comfortable with it, but especially at the time, I did not like seeing myself on camera. I did not like hearing myself. I was afraid I was gonna mess up. I felt like I didn't have the right setup. I felt my distractions in the background. I didn't have the right lighting. I, was, I wasn't I was wearing a professional dress shirt. I, guys, I'm in, in a very nice, clean, active tee, which feels com com comfortable. But like at the time, it was just like, oh my gosh, I don't have the right things. I shouldn't be sipping water while I'm going live. Like I should have, you know, I, I should be shaved. I like all this stuff, right? We go through all these things and we think about it. So at the time when I started with uh, Periscope, I would just go little bits here and there and I just, I didn't follow through. I, 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 I tried it. I would watch my broadcasts. I would be like, oh, geez, that's just terrible. I was live. Somebody could have watched that. Somebody was watching that. Somebody shared that. Um, but thankfully it was only there for 24 hours. And of course you can always delete if you want. Um, I'm just looking at the comments here. Uh, Mickey says, no, never use Periscope, but I watch others on it. Interesting. Okay, Mickey. Any reason why you haven't tried it then? Because I'm just curious, given that's how I started, was was watching, commenting, and then starting to really show up over there. Um, why did you jump from Periscope to Facebook Live? Tammy, great question. So because it was the early days, um, I 
was all about Periscope. And I was like, yeah, Periscope, like, no, Facebook. Facebook's just trying to copy Periscope and blah, blah, blah. But I switched from Periscope to Facebook Live because of the comfort level. And we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna come back to this. So if I forget, let me know, but I, I, I should have it right here. Um, it's that comfort level. So um, let me just check the other comments here. Chrissy says, nor me, it takes time to be comfortable with it. Exactly, see, she took it right out of my mouth. Um, I love seeing my, <laughs> Mickey says, I love seeing myself on camera. <laughs> I like to watch it back now and but I don't uh, I didn't used to yeah Chrissy that it's important so when we go live you guys you always want to make sure that you especially at the beginning I don't watch all my lives now uh, sometimes I do because I repurpose a lot but I try not to watch too many of them I mean because I just don't have time but when you start out you especially want to start watching your lives because you want to see what you want to see yourself you want to hear yourself and nine out of ten times you want to give yourself a pat on the back because before you go live and while you're going live, you may think, gosh, that was the worst ever. And then you hit that end button. You're like, Whew, okay, okay, I did it. It sucked, but I did it. And then when you go back and watch it, you're like, dang, look at you. <laughs> you did good. Yeah, high five. All right. Some of you are out there like, Dang, get it, girl, get it, get, get, get it. Uh, so, you know, you have to watch it afterwards to really be able to see the progress you're making. It's just like working out, you guys. You have to take pictures, right? You have to take pictures of what you look like. You may not want to see what you look like, but you have to take those pictures because if you're gonna work out, you wanna be able to see that progress because just like I tell everyone, including myself, we can't focus on the numbers and I'm talking about weight as well as you guys know here on Facebook especially you know we can't worry about the numbers on our social media platforms or our live viewers or any of that we can't worry about that stuff if we worry about those numbers we're only gonna be focused on those numbers and then we're not gonna be focused on the people that are actually showing up the people that are actually engaging with us and that are actually telling us what we need to do and what we want and what we are trying to accomplish like there's all this stuff going on and that we have to be in tune to but if we focus on those numbers we forget everything else and it's just it's not a priority anymore uh, let me just catch up on the comments here uh, Mickey says I understood Periscope to be a bit outdated by the time I arrived on the scene about six months ago yeah so it, it depends um, I haven't been in and out of Periscope too much I went in the other day to change my bio just to have it there um, but uh, I've been tempted to kind of go back but we're gonna talk about why I jumped going back to Tammy's comment why I jumped to Facebook live and um, Erica says yeah they usually are better than we think exactly Erica when we go live, you guys, when we go live, it's one of the scariest things, especially starting out. And you'll still have that, that scare moment from time to time, uh, especially when you try new platforms. Like today, we're trying YouTube Live while we're going live here on Facebook. You have those scary moments because it, it's different. You're, you're, you're afraid that something's gonna happen. You're afraid that you're not gonna look right, that, that all these factors could go wrong but if you just focus on delivering the content you'll be fine remember my three core values are show up deliver and engage that's what i'm here to do that's what i'm here to help you with and that's what you're going to be doing for your business and that's how you're going to grow and you have to you you have to show up and then you have to deliver those are the two most important parts then from there you engage but you have to do the first two first because you can't get to the engagement part if you haven't delivered anything, right? So that's, that's the big thing behind that. And so when it comes to live streaming, you have these four platforms. We said Periscope, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and now YouTube Live. Notice I put them almost in that exact order on purpose. That's pretty much, I think, how they all uh, came about. Uh, we had Periscope, then we had Facebook Live, then we had Instagram Live, and then now YouTube. I feel like YouTube Live might have been out prior to Instagram Live, but it just wasn't talked about enough. So I could be wrong on that one. I'm not sure if anybody is a hardcore YouTuber and knows that. 
Sorry, YouTube. I'm like, I'm still new on the scene for you guys. I'm still like working on stepping up my game on YouTube. Um, Erica says, I laugh at how I sometimes seamlessly um, recover from distractions during the live. Yeah, you guys. And that's the thing. We're going to be distracted. It's live broadcasting. We're going to get distracted. We're going to have comments that come up. There's going to be conversations between you guys in the comments. And then the host is going to be like, oh, wait, what? Oh, no, okay, just kidding, no, no, okay, you got it. Now, crap, I forgot what I was gonna say. And then you just keep rolling with it. You know, you just make it that way. Which is why I, from the start, created Ed Talk TV and made it a t talk show, business tech, uh, business talk show. Because I wanted that flexibility to be able to say and do what I want, and you guys just know that it's just gonna be good. I mean, it is, right? And so I, I didn't want it to be like this very strict, this is it, and then that way if I mess up, right? Because when I have conversations, you guys know, when I have conversations with you and with clients and with everyone else in my world, like we get the business done and we, we will cover topics and we'll like find other things that we just discovered and we're like, Okay, let's now work on that. Let's keep going this way. And that, you know, so it's like, for me, it, it's an organized chaos and it all ties into each other, if that makes sense. Um, so that's, that's what you got to think about. So you have those four platforms for streaming live. Then you have to figure out what platform are you comfortable on? Catch that? What platform are you comfortable on? Then you have to also look at what platform is your audience on. Now chances are, for the most part, your audience is going to be pretty much split across the board. Uh, we, we'll, we'll focus, I guess, mostly on Instagram and Facebook. Because the reason I'm, doing, I'm mentioning that is because most likely your audience is probably not up on YouTube posting their videos engaging and running that as a as a like a social media platform same type of thing on um periscope they're probably not over there because they're almost they're so i don't know almost independent of what you're used to as a social media platform not to say they're not good they're great and they all have their place but given who i know most of my target audiences here on the facebook page watching even if you're watching the replay, um, I know that most likely those are the two out of the four. Those are the two platforms, Facebook and Instagram, that you're probably managing and trying to learn and, and balance life with. Um, you've probably heard of Periscope. You, you might, like Mickey said, she watches on it, but she's not active uh, with live streaming. Same thing with YouTube. I'm on it, but I, I'm not active. I mean, I am I'm uploading videos, but I'm not active in terms of like totally decking out my profile, getting all the right keywords and all this stuff, like baby steps, okay? So, hey, Whitney, welcome. We're live streaming to YouTube and Facebook today and we're uh, talking about, we're just getting into it. So, um, when it comes to the live stream, you have to go with, with where you are comfortable. Yes, you need to have an audience around there, but go with what you're comfortable with. So, going back to Tammy's question where she asked why I jumped from Periscope to Facebook Live. I will be honest, the the thing that really hooked me, well, I guess I should back up because it, it almost is kind of like, it's almost like a flip-flop, it's really interesting. So with Periscope, what I liked about it at the beginning, and this is why I, I wanna try to get back into it, but I just haven't felt comfortable enough yet. Um, with Periscope, when it first came out, my thinking was, okay, Nobody knows me on Periscope. So I can get into this live stream thing and I can kind of be goofy and just whatever happens. And if I mess up, no one's going to know because they're over on Facebook. So for me, that was attractive, which is why I went with Periscope. And I was like, let me try this out. Then I was like, okay, but I'm, I'm just not, I don't feel that groove. Like I don't, you know, I don't have I don't have some of my people there supporting me. I mean, I had I have followers over there, so and I have supporters, but it wasn't the same as like Facebook, right? Because I've built up such an, a huge audience on Facebook, both personal and business, that it just feels a little more comfortable. And because I grew into my business and 
grew into online live streaming, um, I'm more like, okay, we're good. Like, you guys know I, I'm going to be a goof. I, I'm a techie that can speak your language, that does sales, that does marketing, that helps with brainstorming. Like, I do all of these things and, and we're going to have fun and now we're good, right? And so for me, that's why I went back to Facebook Live and decided, you know what, let's go big or go home. And that's why we started the Ed Talk TV show at the beginning of this year was so that I can really discipline myself, I can be consistent, and I can have something that I can pull from whenever I needed to. And that I can teach you guys for free, right? Because I want to be able to give back. I mean, I still have to obviously have a paycheck from client work and stuff, but this is kind of like the way that I can give back without having to worry about creating all these new blog posts and wasting, not wasting my time, but like really being like, oh, I really don't want to write this blog post because I'd have to type it, then I'd have to have someone edit it because my grammar sucks sometimes. And I'd have to get a, an image and then I'd have to make sure the image is correct. And then, you know, like there, that's just that's just too much work for this one man show to be doing right now. I'd rather do this. I'd rather be here with you guys, watch you guys live, just like Erica and Mickey are having their conversation um, and be able to hang out with you guys live and do this for an hour a day. Like, it's cool. Like, this is this is fun. And so for me, it's one of those things like this is this is my groove, which is why I started with the Facebook and I'm continuing with the Facebook. Now that we're in this groove and what I think this is like seven, episode 73, FYI YouTube uh, YouTubers, which you can check out all the previous episodes on my channel there. Um, but now that we're about 73 episodes in, I constantly am always trying to think, okay, what else can we do? What else can we tie in? And we tried on Monday, we did this live streaming uh, e exercise with Instagram and it was fine. I will say that for me, I'm not very comfortable on Instagram in terms of the live streaming. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in a second. Let me just recap real quick. Periscope is where I started live streaming. That was cool because no one knew me at the time. And I, 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 could, like, I could branch out and just do it and not have to worry about being judged besides being judged by strangers. Um, then I realized, oh, I can get into this. And this Facebook Live thing at the time felt more comfortable because I can bring you guys with me. I got my, I got my people. Um, I'm able to be there. Hey, Joanne. Um, I'm able to really bring people with me that I know, even though I'm looking at this little hole, this camera, I know that I still got my crew behind me. They're backing me up. They're showing up. They're they're engaging with each other. They're asking questions. They're they're at, look at in the comments. If YouTubers, if you ever go to my Facebook page, look at the comments or on the blog, you'll see it too. People are engaging with each other. That's what matters. That's what counts. I don't care about the likes and the follows. I mean, obviously, do that on the page if the content works, and make sure you get the notifications because Facebook's gonna hold us back. If you guys have here, here's a side tip. If you have a Facebook business page. You need to make sure that everyone who loves your content is following it hardcore on Facebook. That means like, follow, and turn on those notifications to see first. And if you can, get them on your email list because we've noticed this past week, and maybe it's just because of the whole Facebook um, chaos, but the reach is going down. So you have to go up. You have to try to figure out how are you gonna get your um, connection, how are you gonna stay connected with your people? Because you can't control that reach on Facebook, but you can control connecting with them in another area, like your email list, like your Instagram followers, like your um, YouTube channel, whatever. Like, make sure you have multiple things going on. And so we talked about this on Monday, we did the, um, the Instagram Live. Now, I'm not big on Instagram. I mean, I, I like the stories and I, I will post on my profile and I'm starting to step up my profile game over there too. Um, in fact, I was just working on uh, watching a YouTube video on some Instagram tips, uh, which I will uh, share 
Once I finish the video, if it's good, I'll, uh, good, I'll share it with you guys in the Hey Ed community. Uh, for those who don't know, I have a Hey Ed community, which is basically your, your, you get me all month long uh, and a huge supportive community for answering your questions. So that way you don't have to worry about one-on-ones and stuff like that. I mean, there may be a time for that, but a lot of people come to me for resources and being connected with something. Uh, so that that's what that is. But um, you have your different platforms and where you're comfortable. And so Facebook's been been my home. That's like where I've been comfortable. That's that's where I had the most engagement and it's easy to engage with people as long as the algorithm and the notifications aren't messing up because like the last couple days, I swear Facebook platform has been drunk. Like literally like stop drinking from the bottle, go get some water and hydrate yourself because I'm tired of you messing up my notifications. So if I haven't gotten back to some of you guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay on top of them as much as possible. But um, so you have your, your platform that you have to be comfortable with. So for me, it's Facebook. Now, again, going back to where we were talking about 73 episodes in, I've had this feeling, call it a calling, whatever, um, that I need to test YouTube. Why? Because it's another avenue for the show or for a spinoff of the show. Because don't think, don't think I don't have all these other ideas for a show that can also be in production. Um, so it's all of these things. It, it's true, Erica. Facebook needs to stop drinking from the bottle because they're just a hot mess right now. Um, and it's not even the weekend. Um, but it's, it's one of those things that you constantly have to be testing and checking and feeling it out. Where are you comfortable? Where are you not so comfortable, but you can get comfortable with being uncomfortable? You get it? Um, because remember, we do not own these platforms. YouTube, Facebook, we don't own these platforms. Instagram, Periscope, they're not ours. Yes, we're on them. Yes, we've built a life on them. We've built a business on them, but we don't own them. It's, it's not ours. So no matter how beautiful your profile is, no matter how many videos you have or views or monetization, meaning you're making money off of your YouTube videos, that all doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's not yours. You can't control if something changes from the platform. I know it's sad, but it's true. So you have to make sure that you're constantly staying up with the news and paying attention to where the shifts need to go. You also have to be testing to see where you can get comfortable and build up another profile. Now, I know that's hard because we're all working very hard with our business, in our business, for our business, and we're trying to do all the things in the world and now it's like, ah, oh, I have to manage another social media account. No, you just need to ease into it and test and see what works. Because you need to realize that at some point, some things might not work out. And that's okay, but you want to have backup plans and you want to be able to try things, something new. Um, I'm looking at comments real quick. Nope, we need to be elsewhere too. Yeah, Chrissy, exactly. Um, <laughs> Nikki says, we need a spinoff. There are plenty idea, plenty of ideas for that. Ed is saying mean things today. <laughs> I'm just speaking the truth. Remember, we're conversations worth having, and I know Nikki knows that. Um, hey, Mindy, welcome. So it's, um, uh, Chrissy says, I'm testing Twitter and IG at the moment. Nice, good, Chrissy, great, good. Um, because that's the thing, you guys. It's all about testing. And, and having fun with it because you don't know, you know, I'm going to tell you about YouTube in a second. If none, have any of you guys on Facebook, excuse me, those who are watching the replay as well, have any of you guys tried YouTube live yet? Because I'm going to tell you about this cool feature that I really like. And I already told YouTubers about it. Um, we'll get there, but you have to test which platform is going to work for you. And if you're comfortable on Facebook, great. Test something else. Test Instagram. Test Periscope, test YouTube, whatever, but give it a shot because you want to build up your, um, your credibility, your, your online presence, 
And that means that you have to be in multiple places. It's just like going to the store or going to, let, let's relate it to business, going to business events or workshops or co-working spaces. Like you're gonna meet people when you do that or when you engage in conversations online. Like you have to do the work. Um, and then let me just see, Mindy says, uh, once is 22 social app on my Facebook page, but I have, haven't have tried in over a year. Oh yeah, yeah, so try, um, test it out. See, and that's what happens, YouTubers and Facebook. You, you kind of sometimes will pause for a second and read the comments. It's okay, it's a live broadcast. That's what you're supposed to do. You know, when I first started the show, I had in my mind, I was like, okay, we're gonna do this talk show. I studied some talk shows and how they're, um, how they record them and everything. And I thought in my head, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be like, this is Ed's talk show and it's gonna be totally professional and we're gonna have a good time. But you have to remember, it's just me. Like, I don't have a producer. I, I don't have tech people. That's me. Those are my jobs. And on top of getting guests to come on the show, which by the way, for those who aren't familiar, uh, we do have guests that come on the show. You can be a guest. Don't go now, but later the comments, uh, those who just tuned in, by the way, in the comments, there's two links from me. One is to all my links, social, website, uh, Hey Ed Community, and Ed Talk TV, where you can become a guest. And then the other one is if you want to donate to the human race, because uh, I'm helping support that this year. Uh, so that's in the comments here on Facebook. But what you have to think about is, you know, what what is it that you want to do? And for, for me, I realized, well, I, I'm not at that level because it's just me. So I gotta make this work for me and my audience. And this does, this is what, this is great. I mean, you guys are tuning in live. You're watching the replays. You're commenting on the replays. I love when you guys do that. When you tune in and you're like, hey, just checking in, I'm watching the replay, thanks. That's it, that like, that lights up my day, that's awesome. So anyway, there's that info. Let me just catch the comments real quick. Erica says, uh, having, I have almost zero presence on YouTube, same, uh, but I'm intrigued. Uh, yes, that's right, because Erica was like, oh, now I'm now Ed's trying this, I gotta try this. Uh, Mickey says, I have used YouTube for marketing video links and emails, exactly, me too. I wanna make a channel, but don't know how. Hey Ed, <laughs> Mickey knows what's up. We'll have to talk about that um, in the group, yeah. It's one of those things that, you, you want to have a presence, so like, again, I have a presence on YouTube. I, I might have, you guys, I might have like 35 subscribers, and I don't even know if they're all active, to be honest. I set up this channel so long ago, and if we're going to, if we're going to talk about user experience for a second, this is going to be a side, side note, but because I love user experience, YouTube should be calling me as well, because and they're owned by Google, but they should be calling me because what drives me crazy is the user experience that's getting better, but it's not quite there and it hasn't been there for a long time. It's like, I accidentally created some channel, but it wasn't the, under the right account and then I had to go here and then the YouTube cover art is a hot mess, like making it, it's just weird and it, it's just not what we're used to with all these other social media platforms, not to say they're all better, but you know what I'm saying? Like. It it's all comes down to the user experience and what you're using it for. And so, like Mickey said, for um, us, we're using it mostly for sharing videos and providing those simple links and having it as a resource. Um, now I wanna start getting more into YouTube, so that's why I'm testing out going live, and I wanna see what, what comes from that. And then I also want to uh, start getting more into my videos and stuff because I have so many clips you guys, so many, some of you saw it in my stories, both on Facebook and Instagram yesterday, I went through and was editing. I have, well, if I really wanted to do some editing, I'd have way more than three hours, but I have right now in my queue, three hours of Ed Talk TV content that I am now editing into small bite-sized content to share out. So it, it's one of those things that it's a process and you just have to do that. Um, the comments here on Facebook, let's see. Tammy, I've got some how-to videos on YouTube, but not live. Yeah, nice, yeah, YouTube's great for that. Um, and then, um, let's see, Paula, when is the best time to go live? Oh, there's a good question. That is a great question. Um, she uh, She's on the East Coast, 
and works a full-time job, so I'm only available in the evenings and weekends. Uh-huh, I like that, and we're gonna talk about that. Uh, Mindy, when my kids watch it, can get uh, way out of my comfort zone of parents that uh, with what plays on autoplay. Oh yeah, so Mindy and any other parents, here's a, here's a tip if you guys haven't seen this. I haven't used it in a long time, but they came out with YouTube for kids. It's supposed to be better. They are supposed to be regulating the content on there. So if you um, download that app and then make sure to turn on parental controls on your device so that they can't go download YouTube itself, then that might help. So keep that in mind. Um, see, that's why you guys show up because you never know what you're gonna get. And if you're new or if you're tagging a friend or whatever, welcome. Uh, so when it comes to going live, there's, there's a way to figure out, well, there's no, there's no exact go live at this time all the time, okay? So we'll just get that out of the way. You will have to test it for yourself because you, like uh, Paula was saying, you have to see your schedule, like what works for you. Yours is evening and weekends. That's awesome. That's actually a really good time to go. Now, you also have to think about, okay, well, who's your audience? Chances are they're in that same boat. So if they're working that nine to five, they're not gonna be able to really tune in at one o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday to watch you uh, talk for a half hour or an hour, right? So you kind of have to think about that, but don't let that discourage you from going live if you feel it. When you feel it, you go live. If you can make it happen, you make it happen. And you'll be surprised at what, what it turns out. For instance, you know, let's say, uh, a lot of you have nine to fives and you want to go live and you're like, okay, I'm on my lunch break. It's 12 o'clock. I'm feeling it right now. Like I want to just do it because I know I'm not going to do it later. Well, it's, it's lunchtime. Go for it. See what happens. Chances are everyone else is on lunch too, or is just about to go on lunch or come back. So, you know, think about times of the day like that and see what, what may work and, and make note when you go live Make note what time you went live, what day of the week. Test it again the next day or the, the next week and see, because it's always going to fluctuate and it's going to depend on what um, platform you're on too. I'm specifically talking about Facebook because I know you can see your stats on there. I, I'm sure on YouTube you can. I just haven't actually explored that yet because today's our first day going live over there. Um, let me just see the comments real quick. YouTube Kids, uh, Mindy says YouTube Kids is better, uh, but they're weird. Yeah, you still have to be careful on YouTube for kids, Whitney says. Good to know, parents out there who are using YouTube for kids, you still need to be careful. Um, people, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't read that comment from Mindy, but yes, you always be careful. And it's so tough these days because, and I don't have kids, you guys, but I know from working with them and working with a lot of parents that it, it's very, very tough to have those filters and to to block things and like literally just block everything out. So, you know, the best you can do is really utilize those parental controls on your devices hide your passwords. If you need something, go get one password. It's a free app. You're welcome. Um, and make sure that you don't show your kids when you type in your password because you know that they're going to be looking over your shoulder. Hey, mom, hey, dad, can you can you pa pass? Here, I need your code. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right? Like they're over watching your typing especially the younger they are, the more they pick up on that. You think they're not, but they are. So you have to keep in mind that, um, yeah, Minnie says my five-year-old is a hacker. They are, they really are. I have worked with um, kids who are two years old and have had uh, YouTube. Like they already know how to get on YouTube and stuff. Like it's crazy. You know, I'm like, hey, so can we get that kid into coding and have him help me with my app? So we'll we'll call it good. Um, you know, so it's it's that kind of stuff where you have to really, it's tough. It's really tough because we 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 just we got to keep moving forward, right? Uh, one password, yeah, Joanne. Uh, so it's just the number one password, and it's a free app if you get it on your mobile device, and it's available in the App Store for both Android and um, Apple devices, and it will save your life. It's the only password management app that I've used in, gosh, it's been well over eight years now, and it's legit, like it's cool, uh, I like it. So so really utilize that, not just for the kids, 
not just for the kids. Utilize that for yourself. Save you. I'm, I'm throwing you the life vest, all of you guys. There you go. And I don't want to take it back. You're good. You don't need anything. You're good. Um, but if you do, you go to Hey Ed community. Uh, so uh, Mickey says, I support kiddos who are nonverbal but can get to their favorite websites like nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. They're just like, boop, done. And you're like, wait, what? How'd you do that? So think about live streaming and, and being able to, um, to go through and test things. Test it on a different platform. Test it with different topics. Because you guys, titles, we know titles are everything, but we also know that they're nothing, to be honest. Some of you can probably be like, yeah, I know, because I will post some titles. You guys, I don't really go through and like, really spiff up my titles. I think about it for a second and I totally could do better with better titles for the show. But I, that's not my main focus. And I'm like, that's just like, the title just covers like one teeny, teeny little thing that I'm gonna talk about. As you guys already saw, you already got password apps, you already got talks about YouTube. I mean, we covered more than just live streaming already and we, we have still a little time left. So keep that in mind. Um, and Whitney says, yeah, 1Password is awesome, uh, but I keep forgetting my 1Password. Whitney, fingerprint. You can do the fingerprint too if you have an iPhone. I don't know about Android, sorry guys. Um, Apple guy here. But uh, yes, so it's one of those things that you gotta test platforms, you gotta test content, you gotta test your timing, you gotta test your, your um, your actual titles, you guys, and, and also tags and stuff, like that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother business. We're not even gonna get into that. But I want you to remember this, that what works today may not work tomorrow. And, and what I mean by that is we've seen on Facebook, we looked at my insights uh, for the page, for the reach and everything, right, from this week. We've seen that on average, most of my lives, will get over 260 plus views that same day. Why, well, I shouldn't say views, reach that same day. Some barely made it to 200. I think there's still a little under 200, a couple of them, that I know should have been way up there because they had guests on there and they had a better title and they had tags, but it just depends. It, it, we don't know. You know, I, I think on some of them, it could have been because I had scheduled one. It was only 10 minutes prior, but I still scheduled it. Um, it could have just been bad press with the uh, Facebook stuff going on. It could have just been a bad day in Facebook land. Like, we don't know. So you constantly have to be testing and, and just doing your best. And that's why I say, like, don't force yourself to go at this time, at this day, at this moment, if you're not feeling it. Like for me, I, I mean, I kind of forced myself because I needed to get into a routine because I wanted this talk show. So for me, I had to be like, okay, five days a week, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to go live for about an hour. We're going to talk about basically one topic and we'll just go for it and see what happens. That was a big goal. When I was barely doing one a week, that was a big goal. But we did it and it's worked out and it's been awesome. And we've had some amazing content. We've had amazing discussions. People have learned so much. And, and it just, it, it takes you to whatever level you need to be at. You know, if you're just looking for free content, boom, here you go. If you're looking to find resources, well, boom, here you go. If you're looking for training, oh, there you go. Like it's it just the platform. It, it just is a stepping stone, right? So you have to understand that that's, that's what's up and that's what you have to do. That's what's up. Um, so let me just see comments real quick. Uh, oh yeah, Whitney has, uh, yeah, you can't do the fingerprint if you restart the phone for the one password. Uh, Mindy says, do you think a regular scheduled post gets less reach as well? Ah, great question. So it is interesting when you guys are thinking about scheduling at this right now, even if you use the Facebook scheduler, the built-in one, I mean, I guess that's fine for regular stuff, but if it comes to lives, I think you just, we just all need to go live, just go live, like no scheduling. Um, again, test it, because it may be different for your page. We can have the same type of business page and we'll have two different outcomes. Everything's different and, and profiles will be different. But understand that uh, I think anytime we schedule, at least right now, 
if we schedule anything for especially a Facebook Live, it's not going to do well. I, I'm just guessing based off of what I saw this week. Um, so we'll see. Now talking real quick before we uh, end here, I want to make sure I cover, we'll talk about the YouTube feature that I liked and then also um, Instagram. So real quick, I tried Instagram Live once by myself the other day, which we did here on the show. It was okay. It was not bad. It was It's fun because it's kind of like an insider's view. It's kind of like my stories. Um, maybe I'll do it again. I don't know. Um, but I was on someone else's Instagram Live as an expert last night speaking and it was interesting to be on the live because it was a dual broadcast. So meaning instead of being side by side, like you guys have seen here on the show, we go side by side um, and Facebook's set up that way, even if you're using their native uh, platform. But on Instagram, you're stacked on top of each other. And it's kind of weird because you're just in this box. And what I noticed, because we actually ran into trouble last night, because when I came onto the broadcast, it would cut audio. So they had on their device started the broadcast under their profile, worked fine. And then when I came on, all audio was lost and we couldn't get it to work. And then we did some, you know, we did some crazy stuff and finally got it to work. But it real, it made me realize that with Instagram, you're almost, you're almost really stuck like it's either you go live or you don't like you can't do anything with it meaning here on Facebook I'm streaming through my computer but I'm using a third-party program called Ecamm Live so I'm able to go through this program into Facebook to stream now if this program didn't work that's okay I just go through Facebook and I can either do that on my mobile or I can do it on my desktop which Sometimes one or the other might not work, so then you just go to the other device. But with Instagram, you only have one device. It's your phone. And you only have one program. It's Instagram. So to me, that just that that's a total turnoff, especially because I bring guests onto the show. So for me, that it's not my it's not my thing. Not my thing. Um, YouTube is cool. I'm liking YouTube right now. Uh, I'm using my phone and I'm gonna watch the video afterwards, but what's cool is that with YouTube, it looks super clean, at, like it looks bright. Um, I mean, I have natural light coming in, but I'm using a webcam for Facebook Live. It's almost as clear on uh, and bright on my phone as it is through the webcam, which is cool. The other thing I liked, and this, this is good user experience, this points to YouTube on this one, major points on this one. When I hit go live from my phone on YouTube, it asks you to fill in your blanks, you know, title and whatever. And then this is like Facebook, if you're listening, get it together. I mean, you need to call me anyway, but I'll give you this one for free. Oh, look, you can see my bud. Oh, you, you guys can't, but YouTubers can see my one of my dogs. Um, with YouTube, you guys, once you fill out the title and you get to the next screen, this is, this is beautiful, beautiful. Do you know what it does? Can you guess what it does? Go ahead and guess. I'm going to look at the comments real quick. Can you guess? Because we got a couple minutes. I want to see if you guys can guess. Um, Whitney says, yes, I tried to stay and support Instagram, but the issues took too long. Yeah, Whitney was on that. Yeah, we finally got it to work last night, Whitney. But yeah, it took a lot of time. And it was like, it, we couldn't do anything. Because it, Instagram just doesn't have alternate routes. It either works or it doesn't. And, and that's just, I can't hang with that. And I just don't like the format there. So this feature that YouTube does, it's awesome. You fill in your title, you get to the next spot, and it asks you to smile. Click for a screenshot. Boom. How many of you guys can just be like, yes. Mic drop walk away just walk away like is that not genius how many of you can say that you have seen some of the worst screenshots ever for videos i mean always i always have to go in and change them and sometimes even then the ones that they capture aren't that good 
And of course you can always upload your own or whatever, but still, how awesome is that? So I will, I, on YouTube, I'm giving you so much love for that because that right there, I was like, I wanna go live on YouTube all the time. Are you kidding me? Look it, you can get this face and have that on every time. Please, come on, let's do this. So anyway, that's why you have to test things out. So um, that is, that's our live streaming. Uh, you guys have my links in the comments here on the Facebook page. You can hear the dogs starting to, they already, they know, they know the timing, it's crazy. They're like, it's time for us to go in the show so we can go for a walk. Um, but you guys have my links in the comments so you can reference those, those will get you everything you need. Um, and then uh, over on the Ed Talk TV site, which you can find in the comment there, uh, the master link, uh, you will see that there's training around live streaming if you guys are trying to look for some training. I have some there, and I also talk about all the tools that I use and things like that. So anyway, I'm gonna let you go and be back here tomorrow. So set your notifications, turn on your alarms, whatever. We're not gonna stream on YouTube. We're gonna be only on Facebook. We're gonna have a guest tomorrow, a special guest. I'm super excited. So be back here tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, take care, guys. Bye, YouTube. Have a good day. Now I gotta figure out how to turn this off.